let's take this opportunity to show you what the drivers deal with in the cockpit. Here's Jack. When Ray Haroon was in the cockpit of this Marmon Wasp, on the way to victory in the first Indianapolis 500, he had to contend with some things that were pretty basic and sometimes quite primitive. He had the use of the rear view mirror, a shifting system that was mounted outboard and utilized an awkward system of clutch engaging and shifting of gears. When Ray came inside the car, he had to contend with 500 miles of turning the wheel, utilizing the brake on the left side and the gas pedal on the right side. He only only had one gauge to concern himself with, and that was the oil pressure gauge for the Marmy. 81 years later, drivers are back to watching just one display that's located behind the detachable steering wheel. But this time, it's a sophisticated LCD computer display terminal, which gives to the driver all of the information that he may find useful in making adjustments to the car during the course of the race. And he also has a series of devices that he can adjust upon during the race to change the properties of the car. He wants to change the fuel mixture, he can move that device from lean to rich. He wants to add or decrease boost, he moves the boost knob. He can also change the handling capabilities of the car by stiffening or loosening the sway bars. There's a six-speed gearbox on board as well, and a driver can use the two top speeds to make adjustments on the car's gear ratio during the course of the race depending upon track conditions. Now, each and every one of these adjustments, though, is assisted and sometimes dictated by what he reads on this display terminal. At speed, the dash processes over 2,000 information bits per second and becomes the driver's reference center. He instantly sees the effect of his line, position in traffic, and choice of gear. While RPM is the most watched display, an alarm system alerts the driver to impending problems, such as when his fuel tank is about to run dry. Guesswork is replaced by information processing. One wonders how old Ray would have handled today's technology.